This is a day in my life with iPad 9th gen. This iPad is a couple of years old, but I think it still works really good for daily use. So I'm gonna show you how I use it during a day. So instead of picking up my phone in the morning, I pick up my iPad because it's a lot more productive. I forgot to charge my iPad, but what's really good is with iPhone 15, you can just connect a USB-C to lightning connector to power your iPad. And this is what my home screen looks like. So I have a bunch of motivating widgets, which is honestly perfect for like a little morning motivation. So all of these app icons are actually shortcuts. So if I press this one i go into my daily planner on notion and i like doing this in the morning to just have an overview of my day sometimes i already wrote my to-do list the day before but sometimes i didn't so i will do that at first thing in the morning before i get out of bed because i feel like if you get out of bed and start doing a bunch of other things it's really easy to lose focus and get sidetracked i feel like it's so much more productive just planning out my day before i even get out of bed in the morning. I can link this Notion template in the description. So once I'm done with that, I close my iPad and go to pick out an outfit. And as always, I never know what to wear. So I go on my iPad again and check Pinterest. So I have a Pinterest board full of outfit inspiration and this is honestly really helpful in the morning because i feel like if i don't do this i pick out the same thing from my closet every single day but by doing this i actually get some good inspiration for different outfits today i honestly felt like this super super basic jeans and white t-shirt outfit but yeah if you struggle putting together outfits this is like a super good tip and then I go out to the kitchen to hydrate and drink some water. I, th I think this is so important. And if I don't do this in the morning, I will start having a headache later. So I actually use an app to track my water intake. And I just chose this app because it had this really cute little character. But there are so many apps on the app store where you can track your water intake. But with this one, you can put in reminders. So it can remind you like every hour to drink some water. So I fill up my Stanley and drink a good amount of water and then this is the breakfast I prepared for today so it's just an omelet and a little smoothie I don't always do this but sometimes I track my food on LifeSum just to make sure I get enough food during the day I love this app because it's so easy to use if you had eggs for breakfast you can literally just type in eggs and it will track the protein and nutrients and then if you're using a specific brand, you can actually scan the barcode so you'll know exactly how much you got from that specific food. I love having this as a little helper because sometimes I just don't have time cooking and, and I end up eating too little or just really bad food that doesn't have enough protein, especially being a vegetarian. So I just like tracking my food on this app to make sure I'm actually getting all my protein and carbs and fats. What I love about this app, it also has a water tracker and you can add this one to Siri. Hey Siri, track water, track water. On it says today you have tracked 250 milliliters. So that is just very convenient and you can see how many glasses of water you had had today. So then I sit down to have my breakfast and of course my puppy wants to join me. But it's time to do some journaling on the iPad. So I quickly charged up my Apple Pencil. This is the Apple Pencil first gen. And as you can see, you actually attach it to the lightning port instead of on top of the iPad. This is a little inconvenient obviously, but I don't really mind. At least it's charges up super fast. So I'm using this blank paper to journal. There's obviously a lot of journal apps on the iPad, but this is the one I'm using. You can choose the color of the paper and then they have a bunch of pencils to choose from. So it really gives you that writing on paper feeling, but you can journal on the iPad, which saves you paper and you don't need to collect physical journals. You have everything on the iPad, which I really appreciate. But I 
think this is a great start to your day just getting anything off your mind honestly if i don't have anything specific on my mind i will just write down what i'm excited for this day or this week and like my plans just to have my thoughts collected you can also add pictures in this app which is really cute then it's just time to clean my ipad up a little bit because i already got so many fingerprints on it So what you just saw was my morning routine with iPad 9th gen, but now it's time to officially get my day started. I'm gonna do some studying, but for that we need a little setup for the iPad, such as a keyboard. So I'm gonna unbox some packages from AliExpress. So right now AliExpress has a summer sale going on, so it was the perfect opportunity to get this pocket keyboard. It is just really nice. To also have a keyboard for your iPad especially when studying. This is what it comes in the box. This is for charging up the keyboard. It folds out to make a keyboard so it is super portable whenever you're not using it it doesn't have to take up a bunch of space but it also comes with a full complete keyboard and then this also comes included in the package so it is a little stand for your devices and what's really cool is this has up to 10 meters of bluetooth connection okay i also got another accessory so let's unbox it okay so this is a magnetic phone mount for the car i really love that you can find all kinds of tech accessories on aliexpress they have such a huge selection of products okay so it comes in two parts that you attach and this part is magnetic so it can be attached to your phone just like that so this makes driving so much easier you can keep your phone at a good angle so you can view maps and keep track of directions and also control your music you can also tilt your phone in any angle aliexpress offers better choices at better prices shop on aliexpress now for your summer sale with up to 90 percent off aliexpress offers free shipping for new users and free returns i'll put the link in the description and also use my code for an extra discount so i'm currently finishing up my school work for this semester and today was such a cozy day to study because it was raining studying in the rain it just really makes you focus better i think first of all because you don't feel bad for staying in instead of it being out in the sun but also it is just so cozy that it's like a whole vibe studying just listening to the rain outside and what i love about studying on the ipad is it is so flexible so you can study literally anywhere in your house it is such a simple study setup just the ipad and the keyboard but i think it works really great for studying i've also been studying on on the iPad Air and even though it feels a little bit newer there's barely any difference I still love studying on this iPad and if you have one of these cases that fits your Apple Pencil it doesn't matter that you can't attach the Apple Pencil magnetically to this iPad even though it might not be compatible with the latest Apple accessories you can still get so many other accessories like this keyboard so when I'm studying, I like to put my iPad in a focus mode. So I set off my focus mode by not allowing any people. I only allowed one app and that is a study timer app. And I also set it up so when I'm on the focus mode, I can only access one page on my home screen. So here you can choose which pages you want to access. You can tell I have three pages before, but once I'm on the focus mode, I can only access one of the pages and this is a page where I only have productive apps so I can't procrastinate. But now let's make some lunch. I love having my iPad when I'm cooking. First of all, to look up recipes, to get some inspiration on what to cook and also follow instructions. So today I decided to make some ravioli and I just followed a HelloFresh recipe. 
this is a lot more convenient I think than an iPhone because the screen on the iPad is a lot bigger and I also try to always connect and do some FaceTiming while cooking or while eating and FaceTiming on the iPad is so much more convenient than on the iPhone because you have a stage manager and just a bigger screen so you can see the iPad automatically follows me and then it's time to do some dishes after my lunch and I love watching YouTube videos while doing the dishes and again this is so much more convenient on the iPad because it's a bigger screen. The only thing on the iPad 9th gen is you have the thicker black frames so if you're zooming in on the video you kind of get a square frame which cuts off a big portion of the video so that is definitely a con with this iPad but I'm not gonna complain I mean it works so then a bit later in the afternoon, I'm heading out to a cafe. I try to do this as much as possible because it's so much easier to get work done at a cafe, switching up your environment a little bit. And I love getting a good drink while getting my work done. So first I just answered some emails. and then did some more studying and here I'm using GoodNotes. GoodNotes works really great for both writing with a keyboard but also the Apple Pencil. So here you can see a text I wrote with a keyboard and then here's one I did with the Apple Pencil. I think this is one of the biggest reasons why you should get an iPad as a student because switching it up from only typing on a keyboard and doing some handwritten notes makes studying so much more fun and I feel like you also remember stuff a lot better. So you can do a lot of your work on the iPad, you can even edit. So I mainly use my MacBook for editing, but I like to do some like finishing touches and effects on CapCut. And also for editing on the go, the iPad is so much more convenient because it's easier to carry around than the MacBook. Once I'm back home, it's time to take a shower. And here I'm using my iPad for setting a timer because I like keeping track of how long I've had my shampoo and conditioner and hair mask in my hair. And if I'm using my phone, the screen is too small to be able to see it from the shower. So that is another just little thing I like using my iPad for. Okay guys, so that was a day in my life with the iPad 9th gen. I just wanted to show you this iPad works really great in 2024. Even though a new iPad Air and iPad Pro just came out, they're obviously better than this one. But I think for daily use and especially students this ipad works so good even though it's a bit outdated it works really good i think it's really interesting to see how other people use their ipads because you can literally use them for so much and they're actually a really good replacement for your iphone and macbook so let me know what you use your ipad for so we can all get some good ideas on how we can use our iPads. I also did a review of this iPad if you want to check it out, but thank you so much for watching. Bye!